See, this is a sketchbook that I'm really proud of because it took me a while to make, but also because I made this sketchbook with the intent of doing a sketchbook tour on YouTube. So it has like a lot of stuff in it, like a lot of stuff in it. Um, and I'm really excited to show it to you. It is pretty thick. I didn't really color a lot of things. It's mostly sketches, but I did do, I did start a lot of studies in this book. So this was, this was the book where I think I really started improving. On the back we have um, Curtis Connor, Debbie Fresh, Remy from Ratatouille, The Scoop Squad, Napoleon Dynamite, and Toilet Bound Hanukkah Coop. Here we have Roger Keffley, Gina Linetti, Captain Holt, um, the twins from Oren High School Host Club, Deku, The Squad, John Mulaney, um, this, this sticker by Surf Me Spicy because she didn't have it on her Redbubble, so I just made it, but it, this is not mine. I did not draw this. All right, let's just jump into it. Um, here is the first two pages. Oh, shit. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna blur that out, my personal information. I don't know why I felt like I had to put my personal information in here. I just thought it would make me more authentic. Um, these I also made with tape because I couldn't find them anywhere. And I'm cheap, so that was fun. Yeah, um, this was started, hang on, I think it's here. It was started in November 30th, 2021, and I ended it February 6th, 2022. And it starts off kind of rough, so bear with me. I'm gonna throw this over there. Um, it starts with this welcome page, which is a self-portrait that I don't think is very accurate anymore. So, yeah. That's cool. It, it's, it bleeds onto the other side. I hate that. That my, my sketch, the sketchbooks that I use now are art block renders, so you don't get this bleed through. But this is a lick, a lick, a lick term, so it kind of bleeds. Um, here, I had a lot of ideas, but I kind of forgot how to draw, and I didn't have the necessary materials because a lot of the topics that I've gone. The pr I had gotten the previous year were now dry because they were Copic Chows and not Copic Sketch. So a lot of these are just markers from like, you know, birthday presents and Christmas presents that I just happened to have, but they like bleed, so it wasn't the best. Bill Cipher, of course. Yeah, um, this is my OC Michael and this is my OC Griffin. Here's them again. Uh, I was trying to design another OC, but I just did not do it. I, I could not. Here is a drawing of Michael and Griffin. Yeah, I thought I thought it was a really good digital drawing, so I just printed it out and put it in here. Yeah. Um, again, I was in such art block. Um, I didn't have any skin tones, but I wanted to color my pieces because the last sketchbook that I did that I had done was very fully colored and I couldn't do that here. That's very upset. Um, here was when I bought a Wallows record and here's Michael again. And that was when I realized I need to cut his hair. So I did that. Um, yeah, I got these Ahoohoos. Art markers. I feel like there isn't a lot of range in skin tone here because a lot of them are very orange and not, you know, the skin, the skin, like that, not very yellow, but if it is yellow, it's like very yellow and that isn't my favorite. But you know what? They do the job. They do the job. Here I was trying to be aesthetic and I was drawing my characters in their own art styles. I think Griffin would be like very uwu and kind of, you know, edgy. And then Michael is an oil painter, so he does realistic stuff. Here is an edgy skull, a skull, <laughs> words, with these Halloween uh, playing cards that I got in a trick-or-treat trip. Yeah. 
here was, um, so this was like around in November, so you get those like catalogs in the mail. So this was my Journeys catalog. So I drew a bunch of shoes, I like I cut out the shoes and I drew them. And it gave me a lot of practice and I'm honestly very happy with them. I really love this shoe. I did more of these there. I didn't finish them, so I like I glued the, the like the pictures in to do a spread and then I never finished it. There are a couple pages that are just empty. Uh, like this one, but I don't know. Here was my first realistic portrait that I tried to do. I was in a class at the time on how to do them, but I don't like the neck because the reference was really weird. I don't remember who this was, but the reference was really weird and it made her neck like do an S shape and I did not like it. I do get a little bit better at them, I think as we go along. And then here was when I got to go get markers for Christmas with my money. I went to the nearby mall and I got went to the art store and I got some Copics and these were the colors I got. I don't know remember the names of them. Here was when I watched Stressed Pigeons um, sketchbook tours and I saw that they did uh, the little trash made fan art. So I was like, oh my gosh. How about instead of being original, I do that too. So there's a lot of that in here. Um, 2D with a very skinny neck. This is very skinny. I guess he has kind of a skinny neck, but that's a very skinny neck. Um, I paused Spider-Man to the Spider-Verse and I drew the poses and I didn't like it. So I just put less and less effort into it. I did that here too. I tried to do like a window in an abstract painting question mark. It's, it's all right. Here was when the art block started because I had so many ideas for what I wanted to do and I could picture it in my head, but I couldn't actually draw it. It was very frustrating. So here's Mirabel from Encanto. I drew this the night that I saw it. I saw it in theaters with my best friend. We were gonna see My Hero Academia, but then it wasn't, well, like, it was too, we were too late. So we just saw Encanto instead. And you know what, it was really fun. Oh God, <laughs> oh God. Um, I had to draw a Hawkeye for my class and it's not the best. I saw, um, I saw freaking, Oh my God, I saw Encanto for the second time, but I, uh, I saw it with my family. So there, there's the ticket. Yeah. Um, here, these, these like back-to-back -back days were just like my two different art classes. This is my character design art class and this was my realistic portrait art class. So I was so unmotivated that I would like only draw those days. So it was like, I would draw like twice a week. Here's another study with um, for my art class. This was when I got my watercolor palette, which I really like. It's a Woodlands, hang on, I have it here. It's a Prima Woodlands Artist Quality Watercolor Pan Set. And it's one of my favorite watercolor sets that I've had because it has a nice range of colors and I like it, it's nice. Oh God, jump scare, sorry, trigger warning. Just kidding, I'm kidding. But I had to draw Tim Allen as Santa Claus and it didn't really go well. So there you go, you get happy. Another character from my character design class. I mean, it's all, it's all right. I, I, don't, <laughs> I don't like the faces. I had no idea where I was going with the faces. Yeah, this was, a digital drawing that I made for my online newspaper. Yeah. Uh, this was when I started to get back into the groove of drawing and I redesigned Griffin and Michael, but I couldn't find the perfect design for Griffin, so I forgot about him. And I intend to go back and fix it, but I haven't done that yet. So for now, endless Michael sketches. I love Michael. He is honestly, He's probably my favorite OC, one of my favorites at least. He's, I, I like drawing him, he's very cute. Uh, yes, uh, 
I have Anime Bell Cipher. I don't know how well the camera is gonna pick up these sketches, but I hope it picks it up well. Because if not, I'm gonna have to do a different sketchbook for today's tour. I really, really like this drawing. I don't know. You, know, you ever get those drawings that like you, no matter how much you are going to improve, I, you feel like they're always gonna be good. They're just like that good that they're always gonna be great. That's how I feel about this one. It's very, it's very nice. It's simple, but I love it. Um, here, more sketches. I was planning to do a repaint of an old painting I did um, in a sketchbook where I designed Griffin and Michael when I first designed them and then their design like changed a bunch. So that's, that's the redraw. Um, here's a Starfinder character I was designing. Um, I don't remember the race this is in Starfinder, but they're basically like bug people and they have like telepathy. It's pretty cool. Here is, um, another spread for my art class, for my character design art class, and we were working on poses. So I drew Tom Holland Spider-Man from No Way Home, which, by the way, great movie. Um, this Spartan warrior from my um, cost historical costumes book, this sword, Andrew Garfield from The Amazing Spider-Man, and Iron Man twice, yeah. Here is more for my historic costumes book, and I also decided to draw the items. This, these, I don't like her, but I like this one. This one's cute, I like it. Um, here, I was designing a bookmark that I would show, but I lost it because I brought that book to a friend's house and I left the book at my friend's house, and then when I went to go pick it up, the bookmark wasn't in the page anymore, and it made me very sad, because then I had to find my page again. Um, here's more Griffin. This was kind of like what I had imagined Griffin would look like if he was older and went down the art student route. So, yeah. Um, oh god. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. The texture of the hair is kind of off. It just kind of... I didn't put a lot of thought into it. And then his teeth are so large and his eyes are so scary. So we're just gonna cover that. Um, more sketches. This is when I was doing sketches with colored pen to add color to my sketchbooks without having to color things. Yeah. Um, Post-it notes. Yeah, Michael holding flowers that Griffin gave him. Yeah. Um, I wanted to cover something up, so I just put a sticker of Hanako. Um, we're just gonna ignore that. Uh, this was a sketch my friend did. Uh, I don't know who it is, but um, that's a sketch my friend did. I don't know who this is. Um, so I decided to draw it, but Griffin? And I don't like his face. I don't like it. So, yeah. Um, I don't know what I have to say about this. It's, it's Robert Sheehan, but when he was in Misfits. And I, I think it's fine. I don't know. There's, I just, I feel like there's something off. It is probably one of the best I had done in that time. But I don't know how I feel about it. Uh, yeah, so this is my my character design class where I was supposed to design a Star Wars character of my own. Uh, so I drew her. I didn't make a name for her, but I drew her. The next two pages are kind of vent art, so we're just going to skip over those and move over to these cute black-haired Michael sketches. He kind of went through an emo phase for a little bit. This was when I had my personal emo phase where I listened to My Chemical Romance for like two weeks and then stopped. <laughs> so this, these were done during that time. I think this one is so cute. I love it so much. Here is some pretty blank pages. This is another drawing that the same friend did. Thanks. Um, this sketch that my dad did, how do I show that? Okay. Of a bug person here. 
Um, this is a very old drawing of a Starfinder character that I made back in 2017, I think. So then I redrew her and now she's pretty and doesn't have big Absalom station glasses. Um, this just looks like that cartoon that I'm forgetting the name of. Invader Zim, Invader Zim. I've never seen Invader Zim, but I managed to design a character that looks exactly like Vader. Invader Zim. And my dad told me that. He was like, yo, this just looks like Invader Zim. And I was like, oh, it does. Yeah. So here, in honor of No Way Home, I drew Andrew Garfield um, as, as Spider-Man. I should have just done, hello, my name is Spider-Man as a, like, you know, tribute to the Spider-Man to the Spider-Verse. But I really like this portrait. I don't, I think it's very cartoony, I think. It's just, it's very simplified. And I don't know how I feel about that, but it is probably one of the best portraits that I've done. It's pretty cool. Here I have some self-portraits. That was an outfit that I wore, it's pretty cool. A realistic portrait here. Yeah. Um, I said my eyes burn because I was reading the Song of Achilles. And it ends very sadly, I will add. This was supposed to be a self-portrait, but I didn't like it. So we put a post-it note over that. This I drew on the like the tablecloth paper at a restaurant, so I just put it in my bag. And then that's where it, that's why it bled a bunch is that it was in my bag with a water bottle. So it got kind of ruined, but it's okay. Um, I finished a song of Achilles. I need a minute or a day. Yeah. <laughs> this is another study page. I used um, pencils, but I don't normally use pencils. So yeah. I feel like every once in a while I have a phase where I try to draw in a very anime style and then I'm like, nope, nuh-uh, that does not look good, so I'm gonna give up. Um, here was a comic strip that I was trying to design on how, like, Michael and Griffin met. So, I, but I never finished it, so, yeah. Here is these characters these characters that I made for an animatic, but I I actually did paint her. Hang on, I can go get it. She's, she was based on like a frog. See, cause it's on my wall. So I painted her with watercolors and yeah, she's cute. I like her. Um, and then this was like the village boy that like finds her. And I, I didn't finish the animatic, but I did. I do have the pictures here, so maybe if I just took like really tiny pictures of it, I could technically make an animatic. But you know what? I don't have to do that. I don't have to do that. I don't want it. <laughs> it was supposed to be the song was supposed to be "Rises the Moon" by Leon Flores, and yep. Here, I think. These are probably my favorite pages in the sketchbook. I did a Todoroki spread, and then I did a portrait of Willow Smith, who is awesome. And this I, this is an older photo of her, but I drew it, and I like it. And uh, yeah, I'm never gonna color it, because I don't want to ruin it. And then Frog, yes. Uh, Griffin's self-portrait here was when it kind of got a little bit more sketchy. I did, however, finish this book, this page, and it was a self-portrait, and it was supposed to be a Meet the Artist, but I never posted it because I don't have an Instagram account. Um, this was when I, this was when I, like, started getting into Webtoon, so I just, like, tried stealing the styles of different webtoons. This one kind of look like kind of looks like spicy events. So I but I it's not my style. It didn't really look that good. Why is there a hair here anyways? 
um, more Michael, more Griffin. It's way more chaotic. I don't like it. <laughs> I like when it, I like, I like spreads like this, where everything fits together, kind of. Or I like this. Also, why? Why does your face look like that? I don't like it. Um, yeah, this is when I kind of gave up on that, but I did do a hand study. So, yeah. Um, Webtoon is giving me our style conflict. Yeah, it sure did. Um, this was when I cleaned my desk out and I just put all the stickers that I wasn't planning on using here. So, yeah. Here is, uh, I think I, f I forgot the name of the webcomic, but this is Gressel. And he, he has, he, there's this like part where he like just wears like a fishnet top and so I wanted to draw that and practice drawing buff dudes so yeah um I <laughs> I was hitting some art block here I don't know why that happened it kind of happened near the end because I was just like you know what I, it doesn't have to be great it doesn't have to be the best here was some you know animals I don't really care much for drawing animals so yeah, the yak slash water book is sad. And then there's an extra page here that I didn't see, so I just moved on to the next page. And that's the end of the 20th sketchbook. Uh, here, there's some things. Uh, is, is that everything though? Yeah. Here. Is it's it's a lick lick term. Just just uh, I, I can't find the camera. Okay, lick term. Nineteen seventeen. This was my raffle ticket to win a stunning bedazzled bra. Yep. More lick term paper. I was like scared to throw this away because I felt like I, I would one day need it. In during the sketchbook, I don't know when because I didn't say it, but I got a record. I got a record player, and I have, my collection of records is steadily growing. I recently got this Animal Kingdom record by Cape Town, which is pretty cool. Um, another one of these raffle tickets. I did end up winning, that was pretty sad. More of the record player stuff. It's a black one, and I have a sticker of John Maloney on it, and it's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, that's, that's the end of the sketchbook. I, I'm kind of proud of it because I like I put a lot of effort into it. I know it doesn't look like it. I know it kind of just looks like I dumped my brain out. But I, I did put a lot of effort into it. And I like it. So, yeah. That's, that's that. Thanks for watching another one of my hedge videos. I hope you have a lovely day. And I hope this was somewhat entertaining.